Hi guys, Jeff Westfall here again with another mobility drill for you. This is a great one for practicing at home and it doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, this is called springy toes. Springy toes looks like this and I'll go into it a little bit more in a minute. And it comes into the heading of what I call oscillating in place footwork or uh, um, idling footwork. And by idling, I don't mean you're not doing anything. I mean, it's like sitting at a red light with your engine idling, ready to take off, as opposed to turning the engine all the way off. So it's like I keep my engine going and there's movement within stillness because I'm moving, but there's stillness within movement because I'm not really going anywhere. I'm staying in the same place, but exactly where my front foot is at any given moment is not a mystery, but it's not precise for the opponent. It also gives, gets a, a rhythmic connection going, which I, I put a lot of emphasis on in my teaching. Um, I talk a lot about how you want to develop technical precision. You want to develop really good technique, but you also want to develop rhythmic precision. Um, and those two things go against each other sometimes, and it takes training to develop both your sense of rhythm and your sense of correct technical ex uh, execution. So this one gives you a, a, uh, the ability to work a little bit on both of those. And let's get to the nuts and bolts of it. The basic idea behind springy toes is that for the basic version, my rear foot is in place with the rear heel slightly raised. I'm in what we call a boxing stance, which means I'm closer to being bladed than I am to being squared up. Got a little daylight here between my feet. I might spend time talking about the stance in more depth in a future video. Got my guard up. My rear foot stays in place as my front foot steps. I'm gonna back up a little bit, give you a better view. My front foot steps out somewhere six inches to 18 inches, usually somewhere between those two extremes. I'm getting a lot of work from the Achilles tendon of my front leg, the springiness. My heel does slightly touch, but I don't come to a stop. To a stop. I'm going forward and backward, dancing off that foot. I'm not doing this. Watch my head go up and down. This is wrong. That's wrong. Ideally, I want to minimize the up and down travel of my head. I want to go forward and backward. I don't want my rear heel to touch. Although there is a version that does that, that's not this one. Rear heel stays up. Even when you're all the way back here, rear heel stays up. So <clears throat> that's really good all by itself. You can get that going and almost dance to some music with it for a little bit. But we want to, we want to, uh, ease the monotony a little bit by giving you variations to do. And you can do a whole lot of things off of this. Any boxing combination that you know, any footwork uh, technique that you know can be done from springy toes. Uh, so first, let's, let's look at uh, angle stepping. So let's think of three angles, straight ahead, diagonal that way, and diagonal that way. So as I springy toes here, I can go this way, back to center. This way, back to center. This way back to center, this way, center, this way, this way, this way, back to center. You can mix it any way you want. Later, this can become a new relocation. As I step, I can pivot and start springy toes at a new angle. Also, those diagonal steps are great setups tactically for a lot of different things that we can do uh, in the future. But for right now, we're just working on the coordination, not on the application. I also can apply some basic strikes. Now, my 62-year-old plastic and uh, titanium shoulders don't punch as well as they used to, so don't hold it against me if my punches are ugly these days. I apologize for that. Anyway, throw the jab. Throw the cross. Throw the hook and try to get it in rhythm and try to keep it in rhythm when you're done. Jab, cross, hook, and keep the rhythm going. And that takes care of today's lesson on springy toes. Hang in there, guys. Wash your hands.